guys and welcome to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how, how to how do i animate things in fusion 360 so let's get started uh, with the simpler one then we will move on to this how to animate this bevel gear assembly so let's move on to the simpler one so here i have a 3d model of a propeller so the first thing before moving towards the animation workspace uh, make sure that the, for realistic uh, animation make sure you have all your effects ticked up like anti-analyzing etc and the second thing and the environment normally by default the environment is photo booth and if the, the environment and the effect setting which you use in model workspace will also be applicable in the animation workspace also so personally my favorite is gray room because it provides a better reflection but it's up, up to you now the, after the selection of the environment and the effects uh, just go to the animation workspace so here it is so um, there this is the your animation timeline and each number here do, donates uh, denotes a particular second so before starting anything make sure that your timeline is set up to zero cause anything um, suppose that i have said let's set the timeline to the eight second and anything that i uh, make changes in the a modeling workspace uh, even the slightest camera change will be recorded and if i just play the timeline you can see that there is a movement in the camera so so before making any changes if you want to so just make sure your timeline is set to zero so the next thing um, uh, suppose that i want to make an animation of how this propeller will look like when it is rotating and i want to make a video of 10 seconds so let's click on the timeline to the 10 second now go to your browser's window click on component so here's the propeller right click on this and click on transform component you can also click from um, from here transform command and select the component manually but uh, i generally prefer to do it from here so you can see that uh, the component is selected and it is showing uh, the distance to be rotated but before that we we need to set the pivot point to the center of this propeller so that while rotating it rotates across the center of the axis so let's just set the pivot point to the center of the propeller so now the pivot point is seted is set up to the center of the propeller now i have to rotate this propeller like this so you can see that there is change in angle degree so 360 degree means one complete rotation suppose that i want this propeller to rotate uh, five times uh, in a 10 second video so what i will do is just i will multiply 360 by 5 and just press on ok so if i just play the timeline now you can see that the propeller is moving with an is uh, uh, rotation speed of uh, uh, five rotations so um, so this was the uh, introduction to the timeline workspace of uh, fusion 360 animation suppose that if i want to change the camera uh, so make sure that uh, you're not on the zero timeline so just try rotating the camera to here yeah now if we if you see that there is a, another view timeline has come here which donates there is a change in the camera position this if i just play you can see while rotating the camera angle also moves so this is how the animation timeline works so uh, for publishing if i just click on the publish it will ask you the video resolution you can choose whatever resolution you want let me just chill either and press ok then it will ask you about the name the format and just click on save to my computer give the desired location and click save now it will sub take some time according to the length of the video and quality of the video preferred so just wait up and let's see what we've got so as you can see the video is about to get published uh, let's wait for a second so the video is published and here it is if i just uh, double click on this video you can see that it's the tail length so here was is the the animation that we have just published so i have taken the resolution at 1024 you can choose whatever resolution <coughs> you like now let's, now let's move on to the several projects second project so what we have here is the assembly of bevel gear 
that is designed to rotate with respect to each other. So let's just move to the animation workspace. So just like before, uh, we are making a video of 10 seconds. So let's set your timeline to 10 seconds. Go to the component number one. You can manually select the component from here which you want to define. And just go to the component one, click on transform component. Make sure your pivot point is set up in the middle of the shaft and press OK. Now rotate the gear in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, whichever direction you like. In, for me, I am going for uh, clockwise direction. So you can see the Z angle is minus 40 degrees. Suppose that I want it to move at an angle of minus 180 degree. Minus represents that it will move in clockwise direction and press OK. Now, if I just to play the timeline, you can see the gear is moving in clockwise direction with an angle of 80 degree. 800 degrees within 10 seconds so let's do the same in case of the yellow gear so that it moves according to the first gear so the direction so just firstly uh, make sure the pivot point is set up at the middle and press ok and the, the red gear is moving in clockwise direction therefore this yellow gear will should move in the anti-clockwise direction so z angle will here be 800 degrees positive which means it will move in anti-clockwise direction and press ok now if i just play the timeline you can see that both of the gear are moving perfectly alignment aligning with each other so if i just like previous before if i just zoom out the camera it will also be recorded even a slight change in the camera will also be recorded so that if i just again play the timeline you can see that the gear are rotating as well as the camera is also rotating. So just like before, go to publish, choose whatever resolution you like. Uh, just go to full HD resolution this time and OK and just go to the save to my computer, desktop and press OK. Now wait for the video to get published. So as you can see the video is about to get published, so just wait for one more second and just like this. So hey guys.